Tragedy strikes the small community of Wilmer. Three people were killed in a fiery crash last night. It happened around 10.40 p.m. on the Highway 98 bridge over Big Creek Lake. While state troopers try to determine what happened, two families are left grieving. Family members and friends gathered at Robert Albritton's home in Wilmer this afternoon. The 69-year-old was with two of his grandchildren when he got into a fiery accident on Big Creek Lake Bridge, just two miles from his house last night. The family gave us this picture of the two cars in flames. Albritton and 15-year-old Brandon Albritton died in the crash. But 15-year-old Brianna Albritton was pulled from the burning vehicle. They say that she possibly has suffered some injuries, but she's doing okay. Supposedly a 16-year-old that uh, went to um, MGM, he heard her screaming for help and was managed to open the door and get her out. Brady Hoffman was also killed. The Mary G. Montgomery High School senior was in the second vehicle. The accident happened around 1040 Saturday. All Britain was returning home with his grandchildren from Loosedale, where they visited a small engine racetrack owned by one of All Britain's sons. Family friend John Howie was there too. We was leaving the racetrack and got a phone call saying that they just got to a, an automobile wreck. And we got there as fast as we could. Howie says All Britain was like a father to him. Wonderful man. If you needed a shirt off his back and you was his friend, he'd give it to you in a heartbeat. He was, he was a great man. All of the teenagers attended MGM. Family members say Brandon was in the ninth grade and interested in horticulture. His cousin, Brianna, had recently transferred to the school from Mississippi. She has been diagnosed with cancer, which family members say is recently in remission. Brady Hoffman was preparing for his graduation this year. He was a member of the MGM Choir. So we're just coping the best way we can. It's, it's really a sad situation when you have a, any type of loss. Um, we are here for the other family. I, I, I'm really sorry that they had to go through this situation as well. And our condolences go to the Hoffman family as well. The families are working on funeral arrangements. 15-year-old Brandon did not have insurance. The family is trying to set up a fund to help with his burial, 